One of my favorite techniques of designing has always been to work backwards, so to speak, beginning by importing images of finished rooms, then sketching over those images to visualize a new design. In this case, my clients wanted a kitchen full of windows, like a greenhouse, so they could always look up and have a sense of being under the trees. And a tall living room with exposed beams that also had a kind of greenhouse feeling to it, with lots of glass opening up to the sun. So I began by focusing on those two rooms, tracing the parts of the image I wanted to keep, sketching fragments of possible plans off to the side while I worked. My clients also loved images of Bjark Ingels design for Noma restaurant in Copenhagen. So the idea of a village of rooms was big on their wish list. The village we were creating didn't have to be exactly like Bjark's, but it did have to include those two important rooms we sketched. And it had to arrange itself in the best way to capture views and sun on their site. Once the client chose the village arrangement that felt best to them, I used the Procreate grid templates and scale rulers I created to scale it up to 1 8 inch equals 1 foot and give it real dimensions in anticipation of exporting the plans to Rhino or SketchUp. To do that, I first enlarged the diagram, then marked some of the most critical dimensions directly on the plan diagram layer itself. Here I'm showing a 16 foot wide master bedroom, a kitchen with a 4 foot deep island, and a living room at about 24 feet wide. With these preliminary dimensions marked, I go up to the Actions menu, tap the Copy Canvas button, and save the marked up diagram to the clipboard. Now I return to the project gallery, tap the import button to launch a new canvas, open the folder containing my metric and imperial grid templates, and select the 1 inch divided by 4 grid, pre-sized at 11 by 17, so that when it prints out, it will remain at 1 8 inch equals 1 foot architectural scale. To make this as clear as possible, I'll proactively highlight three 8 foot segments of the grid in red. Now I'll do a three finger swipe to paste the plan in from the clipboard. I change the blending mode of the plan layer to multiply so I can see the grid underneath. I slide back the opacity of the plan layer so we can see both the dimensions marked on the plan and the dimensions marked on the grid. Then I transform the plan layer only, enlarging it uniformly until the demarcations on the plan layer match the demarcations on the grid layer. Once the sizes match, the plan should be moved back to the center of the sheet before developing it any further. To make it easier to add dimensions once the plan is matched to the grid, I now import the 1 8 inch equals 1 foot scale ruler. I turn on the magnetics in the setting menu of the snapping tool, then move the scale ruler freely within the drawing, checking and writing down measurements as I need them all by way of preparing the plan to be exported to Rhino or SketchUp in the next phase of design. Once the diagram is scaled up, I'll refine the plan with greater accuracy, adding layers of semi-transparent white between each successive iteration, just as if I was using tracing paper in the physical world. With the plan in decent shape, I'll get ready for my client meeting and use the selection tool to select and fill the plan and the landscape with color to make it more exciting for the client and to begin to suggest materials and textures. In this case, because the windows were so important to the client, I also wanted to add some partially rendered elevations to the presentation, showing how the glass was still central to the design concept, even though these may not be the final elevations. Here, I create a new layer on top of the plan, then use Drawing Assist in orthogonal mode to lay out the major and minor divisions in this greenhouse-inspired glass wall. Then I use the same Select and Fill technique to color the glass, emphasizing the difference between the color reflected in the glass on the vertical and the lighter color reflected in the upper sloping part of the glass. To learn more about saving time using the brushes, grids, scale rulers, and even ff and &E templates I feature in my videos. A link may be found in the description below, and a playlist is provided here for your further enjoyment. <music>